Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can build your very first AWS Lambda function using Go. Hey everyone, my name is Brian. Thanks for stopping by the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build your first AWS Lambda function in Go. Uh, this actually kicks off a the first video in a series that I plan to do, creating an entire serverless API in AWS using a combination of uh, Lambda functions, API gateway, and AWS Cognito for authentication. Uh, today, we're going to be building a Lambda function using Go. Before following this tutorial, you should have a very basic understanding of Go as well as Go installed in your computer, an AWS account in order to upload your uh, Go code to a Lambda function. And I'll be developing on a Windows box, but you can you do just the same on Mac and Linux uh, with very similar steps. So uh, let's hop into it. Okay, so on my screen, all I have is VS Code open with an empty folder called Hello World Lambda. That's what we're pretty much going to name our project. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to initialize a new Go module using the command Go mod init, and then we'll name this Hello World Lambda. Like that. Okay, so we should have our Go mod file uh, set up for us, which contains both the module name and the version of Go we're using on this machine. So the next thing I'm actually going to do is create a new Go file. Uh, we'll say main.go, which is the entry point for these. And one of the things that I generally like doing before I, I start a project is just creating a simple hello world function just to log, log a message out. Uh, so we're gonna say uh, package main for the main file. And then we're gonna create a func of main. And all I'm gonna do is log dot uh, print ln. And we'll just say hello world. Now, when I save this, it should automatically import the Go package because I have Go tooling set up on my machine. Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and just run the file just to make sure we actually get something. So go run main.go. And we should get hello world printed out to the console, which is good. This is the starting point for our function. Okay, so from here, I'm actually going to expand my command line because we're going to need to install a uh, specific, we're going to need to install the Go SDK for AWS. Uh, so in your command line, type in go get hyphen u to uh, update any packages, and it's going to github.com forward slash AWS slash AWS hyphen lambda hyphen go. Okay, so we can see our product has been added. If we go and look at our mod file, we can see this has also been required inside the go mod file. Uh, so I'm going to actually close my command line because we don't need it quite yet. And then we can start modifying our code here in order to uh, turn it into a Lambda function. Now, throughout this series, since we're going to be um, since we're going to be creating this with kind of the, the foresight of, of using an API, the specific event that we want to handle is an API uh, gateway proxy request. Um, so we're going to create a new function here and we're going to call this handler. And this is going to take in a type of, uh, well, first off, request is the name of the parameter, but the type is going to be events dot API gateway. Uh, let's see, proxy request. Okay, and then we're going to need to return two things here. So the first one is events dot API gateway proxy response. And then we're also going to have to turn return an error because the uh, the handler, the, the Lambda code that executes this handler expects us to give an error back if something does go wrong. I'm going to go ahead and minimize my uh, side pane here so we have a little more room to work with and see. Um, and then inside of here, I'm just going to uh, copy down my log file or my log entry down here. And then we need to return um, that uh, that response. So let's go ahead and create a new response. So I'm going to say response equals do uh, colon equals to create a new object here. And we'll say events.api gateway proxy response. And the only thing we really need to return just that's pretty much required is a status code. So we'll return we'll return a status code of 200, uh, which in API world means OK. And then we're going to return the response. And then also we're just going to pass in nil for the errors because we're not really doing a whole lot here. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and save this. Yes, I spelled response wrong. So let's go ahead and correct that. OK, then inside of main, all you really need to do is type in lambda dot start. And same thing, if we save this, it's going to automatically import the uh, the uh, reference for Lambda here. And then we'll pass in handler uh, without any kind of braces or brackets or friends, just like that. So we're passing in the handler function uh, to the, the Lambda code that starts it off. And this essentially is a very basic Lambda function. What we can expect out of this is when this is executed up in AWS, it's going to print hello world out to the uh, the the console output, which we'll be able to see when we test it. 
Um, and then it's gonna return a status code of 200, which kind of sets us up for the future videos when we start actually tying API Gateway and Cognito into this. Okay, so before we can upload this up into uh, into AWS, we need to do two things. We first thing we need to do is we need to build our code into a compiled binary uh, that AWS can understand, and then we need to zip it up because uh, when you upload a Lambda function up in AWS, provided you're not uh, typing it into the con into the um, the built-in editor in Lambda, you need to zip your files up and upload them that way. So what we need to do to build this is uh, let's see here. We're going to go ahead and open our output, and we need to set um, because AWS runs on Linux, you need to set the GO, the Go OS environment variable to Linux in order to build this. Otherwise, it's going to try and build a Windows uh, executable by default. So to do this on Windows, uh, well, actually, I guess we'll do it to do it on Mac. All you need to do is type in GO OS equals Linux like that and then run your command. Huh? And if you are on Windows, uh, since we're using PowerShell, we need to type in dollar sign env colon GO OS and we're going to set that equal to a string of Linux like that. So now when Go builds our binary, we're going to build this uh, for a, a Linux operating system. So go build main.go. Provide this functions, we should receive no output. But if I open up my side panel, we're going to see we have this main file with no uh, extension on the end of it, which is, is exactly what we need to see. Now in order to zip this up, I'm going to in Windows, I'm going to right click and reveal in file explorer, right click the file, and then we're going to send to compressed folder. It's going to name it main. Uh, we could leave it just like that. Not a big deal. Um, the main thing is if I open this up, main thing, <laughs> you have your single file of this this main uh, binary inside of here. Okay, so now let's head up in AWS and start setting up our function. Um, I have AWS open, zoom in here a little bit, and all I have is uh, the console home listed. Uh, now, I recently was in Lambda, so it's it's listed as my recently visited services. However, if you uh, don't have that there, using the search bar up at the top, you can just type in Lambda and you should see this entry here. So I'm gonna click on Lambda to go to my Lambda functions. You can see I have another, uh, a number of other functions in here, but I'm gonna go ahead and click this create function button. Uh, we're gonna author from scratch. As far as our function name, you can name this whatever you want, but we're gonna follow the hello world Lambda uh, convention we set forward. So hello world Lambda. Uh, now this is important. The runtime is what the only other thing here you need to change. So we're gonna change this to go uh, version one and then click create function. Okay, so our function has been created. I'll go ahead and close this out just to give us as much space as we possibly can. Uh, now, if you scroll down into the uh, code source section, you'll see this button here that says upload from. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that and then zip file and click the upload button to upload our package. Uh, now, this is the same folder. It just ironically seemed to pull that up from when writing the article. So I'll go ahead and double click on this main zip file and click save. The other thing you have to do here in order to configure Lambda to look for your function correctly is um, by default, uh, it will set the handler to hello here. So we need to edit this and we need to change this handler to main because that is the entry point for our code. Uh, that refers to back in the function code itself, this func here. So when Lambda starts, when when Lambda, when AWS needs to execute this function, it's going to fire off the, uh, the main function, which is part of our, our package that we've put in. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and minimize that and we'll click save just to save that. And now let's test this. Let's head over into the test tab and uh, we can we can leave this everything as is. You don't need to modify any of this. We will get into modifying this and to test out some uh, inputs and outputs later, but we can leave this as is. Go ahead and click test and provided everything works successfully, you should get this execution result succeeded. So now if I drop down the details, you can see we received a status code of 200 and everything else is pretty much empty. We didn't pass anything back. Uh, however, I scroll down a little bit more, you can see the log output. Here is that hello world statement that was actually executed up inside of AWS uh, that we wrote inside of our code. Uh, so this is a very, very uh, basic uh, uh, tutorial on how to create Lambda functions for Go. Obviously, uh, the, the more you get involved with different things in AWS and Go, the more kind of cool stuff you can do with Lambdas. And uh, there you go. That's how you create a very basic uh, uh, Lambda function using Go. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor, uh, like the video, share it with your friends, and uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you want to get in touch with me, the best way to do so is on Twitter. I'm at BrianMMDev. My DMs are open, so go ahead and hit me up there. And if you want to do, uh, have some more code discussion, uh, learnbuildteach.com is how you can access the Discord server that I'm generally active in. And uh, look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.